Uh oh. Yeah, I know what kind of time we on. I'ma first start by saying I don't have that many seeds in here because uh brother's on a budget. And uh also, I really don't need that many things. I got a, still a lot of stuff left from last year. So I only got a few uh, seeds and stuff that I didn't have, right? Uh, Baker Creek always sends you some free seeds, so that's what I'm gonna start off with. And look at that, free lettuce. Anything F-R-E-E -E is for me. Then we got, I think they named this after me. Um, Black Beauty. You know, you, you, See the kid. <laughs> you see the kid? Yo, all right. Well, I can't even call myself a kid no more. I'm turning 40 this year. All right, so Black Beauty. I can't wait to grow this. I can't wait to grow this seed. Um, it says, world's darkest tomato. So dark that some tomatoes turn solid blue black. Blue black. They used to say that about me uh, <laughs> on the skin. Yo, I don't, I don't know about this. All right. We're gonna put this here. And then we got Granny Contrell. This is like a good slice of tomato right here. I'm excited about that. Alright. Next, we got eggplants. It's um it's like a long eggplant. They say it's good um, for gardeners, they'll appreciate the heat and humidity. It's good for chefs and home cooks. All right, then uh, this is like an aroma tomato. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about that because I take these. I actually take these tomatoes and make tomato sauce out of them, so I can them. So it's fire. I think we're getting into the peppers now. Yeah, purple pepper here. So me and my family, we eat a lot of peppers. So. That's why I got so many of them. I actually have uh, already some some bell peppers and things like that, but these I wanted to give a try. It's something that I, a variety I never used before. So here's um like a red pepper. So you see we had the purple, the red. Let me go through these. And then we got a, um, a orange bell pepper, which is fire. Uh, let's see if we got any more peppers in here before we go to the next thing. Yeah, we got the yellow monster. These are huge peppers, you know, so that should be good. And then, um, yo, know, one of my favorite things to eat is I love okra. I really do. So we got the heavy hitter. And then we got like a longer okra. So I'm going to try these two different varieties out and see which one I like the best. That's what it's about. It's all pretty much about um, finding what you like and then ordering that. Because when I first started gardening, I, uh, I would just order anything. And then I would literally plant the stuff and then I wouldn't eat it. So now it's like I only try to plant stuff that I know I'm going to enjoy eating or my family is going to eat or my father-in-law is going to eat because it makes no sense to just grow stuff just to grow it. I only have a certain amount of space that um, I can use to grow. So I wanna make sure that I'm using my space properly and more efficiently. So peppers, onions, tomatoes, zucchini, squash, eggplants, um, like a herb garden, just things that I know I'm gonna be able to use on a daily basis and to give some of my friends and, and stuff like that. So. And speaking of tomatoes, so I got this tomato right here, a Dr. Weichi, whatever, or Weichi, whatever. But this is like one of my favorite tomatoes. This and the Paul Robinson. Um, I don't have a Paul Robinson right now, but I will have it um, this year for my uh, gardening. And then we got Berkeley's tie-dye green. I think Berkeley's tie-dye green. And then we got... Kellogg's breakfast. It sounds like cereal, right? But <laughs> this one's actually, they grow really big. They said um, the fruit will often exceed one pound. So that's that's really good, you know? Uh, me and the kids can have like one of these and a tie-dye one and another one. We just eat tomato sandwiches. Just literally all summer, that's what we eat. Um, 
a Nanus Noor. I don't know who she is, but she got a tomato. So, a Nanus Noor. Um, they look kind of crazy, but I just wanted to give them a try. Just something different. You never know. This might be my favorite one this year. So, um, we'll go from there. Then, uh, cucumber. I don't really grow too many cucumbers, and I really don't. I'm not. I, I'll eat pickles, but I'm not that big of a fan of them. So, um, I like these cucumbers right here. They're they're longer. They have um, a lot of uh, uh, flesh to them. It's not like really too many seeds. I don't like cucumbers with mad seeds in them. It, it just ain't for me. So, I always get that one. And I actually ran out last year, so that's why I reordered that one. And then um, Prairie Fire. And they look like an aroma tomato, um, just with these stripes in them. And a lot of the ones that we, we get that have the stripes in them, um, like really, really, really be sweet. Be sweet, uh, are sweet. So, and then we got, um, I got a few different varieties of watermelon. So I got Black Jewel. It says that it's really sweet. So I, that's why I got this one. Um, I've had Sugar Baby before. Genosic, Genosic, <laughs> nah, but it's a yellow uh, watermelon. I want to give that a try too. I have a juicer, and I'm gonna try to be, um, I'm gonna try to do some juicing this year. Like, um, I'm gonna try to juice some beets, some watermelon, um, some carrots. Look at this, another free seed package. That's what was fire about Baker's Creek. You know, you always want to try something different or try something new. And what they do is they give you the opportunity to try something new because they send you free seeds and you really, really might enjoy what they send you. So, so this, they sent me the carrots and they sent me the lettuce. So that's two, like, you know, and it's very simple because these things are like $3 each. They gave you a free $6 worth of stuff, you know? And I really didn't even order that much stuff. So they, they do a real good job, man. I, I like Baker's Creek and I like their packaging because you can see exactly what you get on the front of it. Um, I have an onion here, uh, Australian brown onion, I think. Yeah. So this is just like a regular white onion for me. And then I got a red onion, you know, and I love onions like on salad or pickling onions to put it on top of like tacos or, or all kind of different things. But, um, and I have a ton of other seeds. Like th this is literally like not even a quarter of all the other seeds I got. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go get the containers for you. All right, I'm back. So I just wanted to show you guys that um, the other seeds that I have, why I didn't go too crazy this year because I have so many seeds left over from last year. So like, for instance, I don't know if you can see here, but it says um, tomatoes on there. And these are all the tomatoes that I have. And me and my wife already went through this. So the ones that have the rubber band on them is the ones that I'm growing this year. But um. As you can see, I have more Baker's Creek stuff here. I got Bumblebee. I have um, the Gooseberry, uh, no. Yeah, Gooseberry, Yellow Heart. So like a ton of seeds that I have here that um, I'm gonna still be planting. And then there's seeds even in here that I'm not planting again. So I wasn't gonna just actually go out and waste my money on getting seeds that I'm not gonna actually use this year, you know? And I have a ton of things, like I have uh, cauliflower and broccoli, collard green and kale. So it's like, this is all, this one right here is all um, actual like edible food that I have in this one. So it's beans, peas, herbs, winter squash, radishes, beets, um, just a ton of things, carrots. So that's this one. And then I have one, you see, you just label it like that. And then I have one here that is all flowers that I label. And I use these, so. And I actually have flowers, but I ain't gonna do that in this video. So, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Um, I hope you guys are, you know, enjoying. If we, I'm in New York, so the weather is, is chilly at night, but during the day, it's like, it's been like four, in the 40s. Uh, 45 degrees so I've been excited about that because I can actually put on a hoodie and a jacket and go outside and do some yard work and and clean the garden up and put some things away so uh, yo y'all want to say hello to Chuck 
Come on over here, Chuck. Come on over here. Say what up to say what up to you too, Chuck. Hello. Hello. What was we doing yesterday? Uh, we were cleaning up the garden. Yeah, we were cleaning up the garden yesterday. You did a good job. Yeah. Did you do a better job than me? Probably. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, but what did you do? We we cleaned up all the leaves and we cleaned up all the like little pieces of plastic or like buckets from last year. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm what are you most excited to grow this year? Let me guess. Let me guess. What? Tomatoes. No. No? I want to see if we can grow cherries. Cherries? I want to see if we could try. What kind of cherries? Ground cherries or like regular cherries? Ground cherries. The cherry tree didn't work out. Oh, no. Yeah. You was know that what? the cherry tree? That was, that was a cherry tree. It didn't work out. You're 100% right. <laughs> it didn't work out. I can't have you on here telling me all my failures, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> You go, you go, what What about um, all the pretty flowers around there and the just orange little bush coming out <laughs> of the ground? <laughs> but, um, we, I didn't you say you want to do a, a tea garden, yeah, like with mint and what chamomile, yeah, what other stuff you like in, in tea? Let's grow some mushrooms for mushrooms. mom, for mom, <laughs> yeah. She mom. loves that tea. Mom loves matcha. what? Oh, matcha. Oh, matcha. Not <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> not matcha. <laughs> mushroom matcha. We got to grow some for that. Oh, uh, my goodness. We got to grow some mushrooms for that. And, but she, what, the mushroom matcha tea that she drinks? Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, it's been nice hanging out with you guys. Right? Yes. Say peace out. Peace out. <laughs>